Hey, my name is Joey, 38 years old. This is my 98 Nissan Skyline R34 GTT. I've owned this car for about a year and a half now. I found it on Kijiji actually, and I picked it up off a guy in Edmonton who lived in the north side. The windshield was just smashed to crap. I also needed some work, some patch ups here and there. Well, I've always been a fan of Skylines. I, uh, it's probably the fifth one that I've owned. After high school, I went to college for auto mechanics, so I was a Red Seal auto mechanic. Ever since then, I've always been into cars. The first car was a Ford Tempo. Yeah, I got it for 500 bucks. And beat the crap out of that thing. Well, the first Skyline that I bought was in 06, and uh, I bought an R32 GTST. Did an RB25 swap, R32 GTR, played around with that, sold it to the States. An R33 GTST, um, another 33, and then finally this one. I always regret selling Skyline, so I ended up buying another one. The R32 GTR I bought literally. I went for a test drive and then I came back, gave the guy the cash and then I was driving away with it. Not even like five kilometers down the road, engine blew. So I don't regret buying it, but I regret not doing a compression check on it before I bought it. Yeah. Tuning this thing is probably one of the hardest things I've done myself. It's uh, really, really time consuming because I don't have a dyno obviously. So I just do street runs here and there, log it, come back. I've bought a bunch of parts for this car that I haven't installed yet. I have like a front face and take plenum, got a new intercooler, got some new piping, new exhaust has to go on. So I want to do eventually a RB30 bottom end swap with a 25 head and big turbo, you know, all the... I want to keep stock transmission though, so I don't want to go too crazy around maybe like 650, 700 horse. There's a lot of imperfections. I attempted to wrap it myself. Obviously, it's very crap. I'll probably never ever wrap again in my life. I've gotten tickets for the exhaust already. It's a large seat, but it's very tight. I feel like Japanese companies make larges for Japanese people, so it doesn't have any wheel plastic wheel wells, so it's uh, every little rock or anything, you feel it, and the trunk is pretty much gutted out, so I kind of wish I found a GTT with a sunroof, but uh, it's kind of difficult. Suspension-wise, it's pretty set up, so it hugs corners really well. Tomi, Tomai, I don't know how you guys say it, but uh, it's two-way diff. It's really loud, so it's probably like in between a love and a hate thing. <laughs> Ever since I was a kid, I always loved our 34s playing video games and stuff, right? So uh, now that I actually own one, I know it's just the GTT, but uh, she does the trick. And obviously, I'm a RB fanatic, just a big fanboy, but uh, the 25 Neo is a great motor. You can hear it coming from a mile away and you know exactly what it is. She, uh, she, she runs pretty well. Uh, there's an upgraded steel wheel turbo, automotive fuel pressure regulator, got a water meth injection system, upgraded rad, front face intercooler, 550 G R35 GTR injectors, bit fire coil, uh, coil packs, sorry, oil cooler with a relocation kit, just basic bolt ons for this year, nothing crazy. Interior wise, uh, you got the bucket seat, the bride, low max. They got a GTR passenger seat, got the Apexi Power FC ECU with the hand controller here, and I got the Data Logic to hook it up and do fine tunes. You got the AEM AFR gauge wide band. Um, that's about it. I haven't wrapped this mirror. It's kind of embarrassing, but I kind of like it now because it's just uh, become a joke. Um, it's a metallic, like Bayside-ish blue. Um, I really like the color in the sun, you can't really tell in here, but it pops, there's a lot of like metallic to it. The biggest power upgrade that I have on this vehicle is this French Bulldog sticker right here. I have a French Bulldog, so I'm in, I'm in love with them. <laughs> um, wheels, I got some Rota 5 spoke. I forget the exact size of the wheels, but there's no spacers or anything. 
function. Uh, not very good. Suspension. R34 GTR. I don't know. They're all kind of weird. <laughs> Tokyo Drift. Tokyo Drift. <laughs> oh man. Gone in 60 seconds. There's so many. I'd say the Toyota AE86. I'd say the RS3, Audi RS3. Yeah. <laughs> More of the same sex though. <laughs> Um, buying tips for this car, I'd say do a compression check of the motor for sure. The guys in Japan sell these cars with a lot of bondos strapped to the backs of them. Well, oh, the rear main seal loves to leak. Uh, valve covers love to leak. I'd say watch out for oil leaks. When you're test driving one, make sure that uh, it's not blowing any oil out of the back. Just make sure third and fourth gear don't grind because these transmission like they like to grind a lot. Oh man, R34s jumped like crazy in price. Like they jumped like 10 grand in the last few years. It's crazy. Uh, you could sell, this is a 98. So I believe I could probably sell it to the States for something like 30 American. But uh, here I'd say maybe 25 to 30 Canadian. You could find a G decent GTT with a Neo, you know, uh, standard. You could find automatics and NA is for a little cheaper, but uh, for a GTT, that would be the running price, I'd say.